NHL, uh, first of all, before we uh, get into uh, what we expect on Friday, uh, your thoughts on the uh, the draft on Sunday and some of the deals, uh, the Leafs getting Dave Bolin, uh, certainly the devil surprising a lot of teams, uh, able to get Corey Schneider for the ninth overall pick. Uh, how did that day go for you? Well, I think, uh, you know, I think there was definitely a couple of surprises along the way. I.E. Schneider and yeah. Leafs getting, well, at least getting Boland. Um, I didn't think that was as big of a shock, obviously, as the Schneider. But uh, for Toronto, I think it's good. It's just another piece uh, of the puzzle. It's a team that uh, you know took the Boston Bruins to the brink, and I hate using the you know a squared equals b squared, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But if Toronto took Boston to the limit, who knows how far they could have really gotten if they had just passed. Uh, just past the Bruins, and listen, what did they need? They needed a good checking line center, somebody who can, you know, match up against the opposing team's top line, just kind of be a pest. Score, and, and Boland's capable of scoring a key goal here and there, as we've yeah. seen in the last couple of cup runs for the Blackhawks. So it gets exactly what they need. They're still missing probably uh, maybe even two centers, you know, the top line and the second line, but you could probably say... They could get away with just one good guy, maybe Stephen Weiss or David Clarkson. But uh, anyways, the point is, uh, I think uh, it's a piece of the puzzle for the Leafs. And, you know, where, where you're drafting, essentially, those two picks they gave up, um, you know, you're not going to get a player like Boland, not somebody that's going to contribute right now. So I think it's a good move there.